The campus of Southern Connecticut State University. It has changed over the years. Construction to the library, an entirely new student center. Some say it is just the changing times, but some believe that one man has inspired people to change the way they think. Tom Dorr, myth, man, legend, or assistant director of the student center. Well, I graduated from the Gilbert High School in Winstead, Connecticut. Uh, it's the big thing from Gilbert School in Winstead is uh, Ralph Nader grew up in Winstead and all of that. And, you know, the big consumer advocate. Uh, I graduated, came to Southern, and uh, completed my undergraduate degree here in computer science. And uh, about three years after that, uh, I got an opportunity to work here at the Student Center at Southern Connecticut. And uh, it's been really cool. WSIN owes much to this man. Without him, the station operation, the tools used, would be in ruins. Tom Doerr is essentially the guru of the radio station. He um, handles all the technical difficulties that happen around here and you know, he gets us through. And uh, he's really important to us. Though he doesn't act like he's that important, but he is. With regard to the radio station, my current involvement is uh, not an official advisor. I mean, you can list a secondary advisor with the club paperwork, but that doesn't technically mean anything. I don't sign off on anything. I only give recommendations on equipment, quotations for replacements and upgrades. I first met Tom when he came to the university uh, and worked at the campus radio station. He eventually became the general manager of WSIN, and uh, most people don't know this now to look at him, but he had hair down to the middle of his back, kept usually in a ponytail. He had the longest male hair on campus. He was the envy of many of the women on campus whose hair was not as pretty as Tom's. And then, one day, near graduation, I see Tom Dorr, and Tom Dorr has lost his locks. And I was stunned. I didn't know who it was at first. But then I realized, oh yes, that's the same Tom Dorr, who's improved the radio station over the last couple of years, and who's a pretty good guy, even hairless. Um, day to day I deal with audiovisual technology, um, any sort of computer technology request, requests, and uh, I deal with programming, website design, um, basically I try to help everybody that comes to me. I mean, you've got to make your best effort and that's what I try to do every day. Many people consider Tom Dore to be the go-to guy for all things technology. His technological know-how can be traced back to his days as an undergrad at Southern. Within a week of the semester, I received a phone call from the computer guy, if you will, for Residence Life, who said, uh, I need to see your resident, Tom Dore. So Tom and I went down to the office. I knew he was in some kind of trouble. Um, and what uh, had happened is Tom was uh, I guess trying to hack into the network. When asked, why were you trying to hack into the network, Tom Doris' answer was, because I could. So he got in all this trouble, um, and he promised never do it again. Literally, the next day, I received another phone call saying, I need to see Tom Doerr again, and they hired him the next day as a student worker. And uh, I said, why did you hire Tom Doerr if he just tried to hack into the network? And the answer I got was, because we're afraid of what he can do, so we'd rather be able to keep an eye on him. <laughs> From tree logger to technological genius, Tom Dorr has done it all. The impact of Tom Dorr can be seen for many years to come. Future children need Tom Dorr. We need Tom Dorr. Everyone needs Tom Dorr. That's why I have a picture of him in my bedroom. He wakes me to sleep every night. I remember Tom Dorr when he was just a little boy, actually. Tom, can you help me create an online survey? I can, and I will, but you're gonna have to give me some time, Riza. All right, when do you need it by? I need how many minutes of material is that? 20 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. That's 20
20 minutes. Now we just gotta do you haven't been working for 20 minutes. Your break is over. 